Hi there, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing three sparkly snowflake die cut cards with you using components from the January 2021 Simon Says Stamp card kit. This beautiful card kit is probably one of my all time favorites. It's called Snowflake Season for a very good reason. The stamp set included, the die, the pattern papers, everything is snowflake themed and I absolutely adore the pattern papers. You are gonna see so many cards from me with this collection or with this kit rather because it's so, so good. We're gonna start by die cutting our background panels using the Wonky Rectangles largest die from that collection. These are a Simon Says Stamp exclusive and I am gonna die cut the background just to give the edges a little bit of character, a little bit of design definitely a little wonky stitch there it die cuts about four by five and a quarter so it's going to be slightly smaller than a2 sized fitting on your card front perfectly now that i have one of my backgrounds i had previously die cut a bunch of snowflakes off camera so i'm laying them out just kind of gauging where i want to put my first sentiment i did change the sentiments for each stamp set or each card pardon me the first one I stamped, so much thanks, winter greetings. So that's actually two phrases I grouped together and I am stamping those with Simon Says Stamp Smoke Ink. I will tell you that I messed up my first panel. I was so mad at myself. This is probably one of my favorite papers from the kit. Really annoyed. I tried to stamp and emboss. I think the sentiments are just too small and detailed and it doesn't show up well, but lucky for me, I just bought this paper pad. So I used dye ink instead, and I think you're gonna get better results. I mentioned this because I don't want you guys to do that when you get your kit and find that um, if you try to stamp and emboss, I just don't think the results are that good. I really wanted the small sentiment to be super legible. I am using the die that comes in the kit, which is the Eliza die, it's that large silver die out of the holographic paper included in the kit as well. Then I just kind of grabbed a whole bunch of my Simon Says Stamp Snowflake wafer thin dies and die cut them from a variety of cardstock. So we've got some white glitter, we have some silver metallic, we have the holographic cardstock that does come in the January kit. We're also gonna use some pearlescent vellum on one of the cards. So just kind of a nice assortment here. Oh, and silver glitter. So white glitter, silver glitter, holographic, silver metallic, and the um, iridescent vellum. I'm gonna glue these in place then all over the background. Now, I was using my regular glue that I normally use most of the time, the Ranger, Ranger multi matte medium with a fine tip applicator. And I completely forgot that glue comes in the kit. I actually love this glue from Simon Says Stamp, the craft glue. I just have been out of it for a while, but you get a tube in the kit. So you're gonna notice I'm gonna switch to that glue for the next card just to show you how great it works. I had laid out the snowflakes on my card panel off camera and then I'm gluing them down on camera to show you my process as far as kind of carefully working through so that I'm laying them down and adhering them where I had laid them out because I really liked this kind of um, background design and so I wanted to keep it as close to that as possible. I'm using an acrylic block to help hold them down and hold them flat while that glue dries. Many of the snowflakes are hanging off the edge of the panel in some form or fashion. That is totally okay. We're just gonna trim that away here in a little bit when the glue dries. I personally really love having my snowflakes or whatever embellishment it might be that you're using hang off the edge of a panel as it gives it a much more snapshot type of look rather than just a bunch of snowflakes kind of hanging out in outer space. So it has a very grounding effect to the design. 
We're going to add our final couple of snowflakes to this and then we're going to embellish. These cards truly are some very simple in design, but they look extremely elegant and detailed because they are. The difference of paper that you use, so like a nice mix of specialty cardstock over that beautiful background, um, and then the addition of some pretty little clear heart droplets, and then some white sparkly gemstones make so much of a difference. You'll notice that I am adding little bits and pieces all over my card, and I've switched to the, the uh, Craft Tacky glue now to glue these in place. You, you might notice that like, especially the white heart clear droplets, because they are clear, they look really, really white right here, which would be cute if I had white droplets, but I don't. Um, the clear though, the glue is gonna dry completely clear. You'll notice in the finished photographs of the cards that they're completely see-through, which I think is so awesome. And this just makes for a beautiful, beautiful panel. Once we kind of have everything down where we want it to go, I'm using an embellishment wand to pick all the little pieces up and put them down. We are gonna go ahead and flip the panel over, take some nice long shears, and trim away any of this excess that we don't want. So that will kind of make it all nice and neat before we place it on our white top fold card base. I'll be switching up my ink colors for each card to match the background. I picked three backgrounds that had, I wanna say a little more pattern to them, a little bit more busyness than some of the others. And I am sharing again, a couple more videos with this kit because I love it so, so much. But this I felt worked, these patterns worked really well with dyes as the dyes, since they're another layer, kind of show up on them nicely. I'm gonna do stamped backgrounds with snowflakes and then another fun idea that I'm gonna kind of keep secret um, that will be coming soon but just an amazing kit. What I love is that these backgrounds look like the most beautiful, detailed, inking, stamping, distressing, all of the things, and it's a pattern paper. It's just phenomenal. When you pop that panel on a white top fold card base, you of course have the beautiful white border all the way around that really sets off the center of the design. Next, we're gonna do kind of the aqua teal background, which it has that beautiful ombre effect of dark to light. We're gonna switch up where we put our sentiment and we're gonna switch up the sentiment. So this one is so much thanks. The first two cards are very much thank you cards and the last one is more of a missing you friend type of card. Again, just mixing and matching the snowflakes. We have the Eliza, Marissa, the Snow Flurry set for the little snowflakes, the Kate uh, and Ryland, Rylan snowflakes for this background. This card is the one I used the pearlescent vellum from Lawn Fawn on. I did run it through the Xyron sticker maker. I don't think that my sticker maker made these very sticky. So I did put a little glue on the back of them and I don't, well, the small one I did. And I don't think you can really tell that much. I really kind of wished I'd done it on this bigger one down here, the Marissa, because there was glue, it got sticky. I ended up having to take my Tombow mono eraser and try to get rid of that. But it's all good, it turned out fine. I love, love, love the background. And again, a completely elegant, beautiful card in a different colorway basically all the same su supplies. I kind of switched out maybe a couple of snowflakes and I did that throughout because I really just went through my snowflakes and this isn't even all of the Simon Says Stamp snowflakes. I just grabbed um, ones that worked size wise with my design. They have a whole beautiful assortment that I just absolutely love. And I just grabbed them and die cut them from different card stocks and I wanted a whole bunch of different shapes and styles and colors to really make these cards elegant and beautiful. 
I stamped this sentiment, I forgot to mention, with the Simon Says Stamp Audrey Blue Ink. I felt like it really matched the best. Actually, the little scrap from what I die cut my rectangle from, so the leftover pattern paper, I did stamp this sentiment on that first to make sure I liked the color on this pattern paper. I did, so I went ahead and committed to stamping it on the background. I am also going to do that for my third and final card share today, just because I really wanted to make sure that the color of ink I chose for each design went with the design. I had tested the gray card, uh, gray ink, the, the smoke ink for the first card on the panel that I messed up. So I knew it was gonna match as well. I guess I ended up testing all three of them because the ink color to me was super duper important. I felt like a black ink would completely take away from the elegance and the soft snowy feel of these cards. So ink choice, and I know I've mentioned this in some other videos, is very, very important, even with your sentiment. If it's gonna kind of detract or take away or pull all of the attention away from the design, I tend to go away from that black. Now black works in many instances, but for this one especially where white and the softness of snow is the predominant feel, even though there's color here, I really felt like it was important to pick an ink that matched my pattern paper and just kind of contributed to the overall feel of the card and wasn't the focal point. We are adding all of the little gemstones and hearts. I stuck to two different embellishments. I kind of pulled more than two because I wasn't exactly sure which direction I wanted to go, but I ended up just sticking to the white gems and then the clear droplets for my cards. And I'm just gonna use those throughout all three designs. Again, attaching those with the glue included in the kit. And it's called the Craft Tacky Glue from Simon Says Stamp. While I'm gluing those in place, I do wanna mention that for my cards today from the kit, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. Three of those eight are the coordinating envelopes that go with my uh, cards. I love that Simon has started including envelopes in the card kit. What goes better with a card kit than envelopes? So you're all set to go. Um, and you're even getting a holographic envelope in this kit this month. Oh my goodness. Um, I hadn't gotten any of those yet from the store. So seeing that in real life, oh, I was so excited. It's beautiful. And there is my second background. For the third background, we are going to use some Lawn Fawn Deep Sea ink. And we're gonna, again, stamp two phrases for this one, Snow Glad We're Friends, and then right above that, Missing You Snow Much. On my scrap paper, I did try to stamp these at the same time. It left way too much of um, an area between the two phrases, so I found it better to stamp them separately, just like I did for the first card panel. I wanted them to buddy up a little bit more. This is more of a navy-ish blue to, to maybe a lighter blue and then white background with all that great bokeh detail. Gorgeous pattern paper. There is not a bad pattern paper in the bunch in this paper pad. I can't say enough great things about it. It is gorgeous. I'm using the Eliza, Rena, Mary Ann, Daphne, and Anna snowflakes, as well as the snow flurries for the smaller snowflakes. We're gonna glue those down, glue those in place. Again, I kind of laid them out and then I'm gluing them down. This design, very, very similar to the first card panel. Not exact, but it is pretty similar. I stamped the sentiments in about the same area and most of the snowflakes are gonna be pretty much in the same place. Kind of liked that layout a lot. And I really let my pattern paper dictate where I laid things down. 
Um, so for the aqua background or the teal background we just did, the snowflakes are more concentrated up at the top where it gets nice and lighter down near the bottom, where, which I felt like was a great spot for our stamped scent. Stamped sentiment, sorry, I'm getting all tongue tied. And then this nice bigger design. There's actually a big and a small of this snowflake and I think there is of a, a couple of the designs, which I just love. And I really like that all the snowflakes are so different. There is really an amazing collection at Simon Says Stamp. We'll glue these last few down. We'll embellish and add it to our white top fold card base. And that really is it for these cards. Now I will say I did not do this for this particular set, but if you wanted to, you could take the coordinating or the uh, stamp set that we got our greetings from, which is also full of snowflakes, beautiful snowflakes. And it is called Snowflake Season. And you could embellish the envelopes by stamping and I think that would be gorgeous and provide you with beautiful matching envelopes or custom matched envelopes to go with these cards. So just another idea there. You will be seeing that in my next video where I'm going to stamp some snowflake cards and I will be stamping the envelopes at that time. Acrylic blocks really are my best friend. They help hold things down. It's especially useful when you've got a lot of liquid glue and you want to hold delicate die cuts like snowflakes down. It just holds them nice and flat while that glue dries. And then just embellishing our snowflakes with all of the pretty sparkly things. And that will finish it up. We'll take a quick look at all three cards again to show you the detail of each and we're all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of three cards featuring the Simon Says Stamp January 2021 Snowflake Season Card Kit. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Simon Says Stamp products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.